This should be heard and understood by all Americans, Democrat, Republicans, Independents, everyone. To all 435 members of Congress and the 100 members of the U.S. Senate, the majority of you are corrupt morons. Consider your record and reflect on your performance. The U.S. Postal Service was established in 1775. You've had 247 years to get it right, and it's broke. Stamps cost 63 cents and may be going up in November to 66. Social Security established in 1935. You've had 87 years to get it right, and it's broke. Fannie Mae was established in 1938. You've had 87 years to get it right, and it's broke. The war on poverty started in 1964. You've had 58 years to get it right. It never went anywhere, and you stole from our Social Security Fund. One trillion dollars of our money is confiscated each year and transferred to the poor, and you want more. Medicare and Medicaid were established in 1965. You've had 57 years to get it right, and they're broke. Freddie Mac was established in 1970. You've had 52 years to get it right, and it's broke. The Department of Energy was created in 1977 to lessen our dependence on foreign oil. It has ballooned to 16,000 employees with a budget of $24 billion a year, and we import more oil than ever. You've had 45 years to get it right, and it's an abysmal failure. You have failed in every government service you have shoved down our throats while overspending our tax dollars. We have a president that had 36 years of experience as a U.S. senator and eight years as vice president. A president that promised to build back better. Our current president is the epitome of a corrupt career politician. We elected an immoral, unethical freeloader that never had a plan except to live on the public dole a scoundrel who bends to the way of political winds and can't even finish a sentence without losing his train of thought. And you want Americans to believe you can be trusted with a government-run anything. Folks, keep this circulating. Maybe we will end up in the emails of one of our elected officials. They never read anything, but maybe their staff will clue them in on how Americans feel. If you don't think we need to drain the swamp, then you just plain don't think. And please try to understand what's wrong. We have lost our minds on career politicians and political correctness. Someone please tell me what the hell is wrong with people who run this country. We are begging Venezuela for oil. We're broke and can't help our own seniors, veterans, orphans, or homeless. In the last months, we have provided aid to Haiti, Chile, Turkey, and they're funding the world climate change, and now NATO, Afghanistan, Ukraine, and Pakistan, previous home of bin Laden, literally billions of dollars. Our retired seniors living on a fixed income receive no aid as our southern border is overrun by illegals. America, a country where we have homeless without shelter, children going to bed hungry, elderly going without needed meds, and mentally ill without treatment. We can't take proper care of our citizens. However, illegals get everything free. They are put up in hotels, fed free meals, health care, and cash. Imagine if the federal government gave us the same support they give to illegals in other countries. Albert Einstein once said, The difference between genius and stupid is that genius has its limits.